So the painting creator can be used for many different reasons. You can just do annotations if you want to, you can create shapes with it, and if you wanted to, you could even do a full picture with it. Okay, so to get onto the painting creator, you need to click Tools, and then go down to Painting Creator. It will then open up the Painting Creator window. So the Painting Creator has a few main areas. There is all the tool selection up here, there is also the brush size here, and then this obviously is the recording window, and this is the library for everything you've recorded. So the first thing you need to do is choose a tool. So there's a whole range of different tools up here. There's plenty to choose from. There's crayons, there's paint brushes, there's pencils, there's spray brushes, there is water markers to smudge your um, painting to, to create a watercolour effect. And then there's a few more, such as the bristle brush, uh, the charcoal, and there's, I think there's some spray in there as well. Yes, there's an airbrush there. So there's quite a lot to choose from. And when you've chosen one, what you need to do is choose the size of the brush you want. So you'll see here there are two sliders, one for the width of your brush and one for the height of your brush. So you can choose any size brush you want, ranging from 1 all the way to 100. So like I say, you can choose any size you want. I'm going to keep it around the 50 mark. And then when you're happy with the size, you can choose a colour. So there's all these different colours here. All you have to do is left click and pick one. So I've just chosen the blue, and you'll see that the background here is white. Now if you go on this drop down list, you'll see it says refer to a default background colour, and that is white because I haven't got anything. Now you can have it as your timeline image, so if you've got a project open and you've got something like a video in there, if you have this selected, it will from the point your video was on, from when you open the painting creator, it would choose that image and you'd be able to draw over it on here. Now you can also choose a customizable image and that is any image you've got saved on your computer. All you have to do is left click on that, click the browse button there, choose a file from your computer any way you've got them saved and then you can open it up in here and it will open on the background. So if I choose this one and click OK you'll see it's now opened my customized image. So once you're ready to start recording and you've chosen all your brush and you've chosen the right size then just click start recording. You can then write whatever you want. So I'll just write hello on here. Um, now if you had a tablet where you could draw with a pen then you could do quite a precise drawing on this and it would be very useful. Um, but obviously if you're using a mouse it will be a lot harder for this. So I've just written hello just for the purpose of this tutorial. And then when you're ready to finish just press stop and then you'll see down here in the library you've got your video which you've just recorded and you can play that by clicking on this play button here so you can see that it's recorded everything I wrote and it plays it back so the best thing to do is if, if you've not used this before is to basically just to choose a tool, choose a brush size, choose a colour have a play around on the recording screen and see what you can come up with because that's the best way to learn really just to, to self learn and uh, just, just see what you can make just going at it. So hopefully this video has given you an idea of how the painting creator works. Um, I know the first time I used it I actually found it quite hard and looking back on it I don't really know why because it's fairly simple and all the, everything's laid out quite easily. Um, so I know what it's like to be new to the software and it can be quite hard but the best way to learn like I said is just to choose a tool choose all the settings and just see what you can make it's the best way of doing it so once you've recorded what you wanted you can then click OK and it will just render it here, produce it and then it will apply it into your library so you can drag it down into your timeline so I'll just let that finish there and you can see it's in the library and you can press play and you can see that's what we recorded and that can now be dragged into our video track and used in a project. So hopefully this video has helped you and if you want any more tutorials like this in the future then please just comment below. So thanks for watching everyone.